Hello again. Do you want the internet to turn into a jungle? This could happen, you know, if we can't control the use of our personal information online. Now, privacy is a particular value for us Europeans, a value reflected in European laws for many years. However, in spite of the many advantages of technological development, there is an undeniable risk that privacy is being lost to the brave new world of intrusive technologies. On the global information highways, personal information is increasingly becoming the new currency. And I believe that Europeans, who in many ways take fuller advantage of new technologies than other continents, just look at Europe's strong broadband and mobile phone take up, I believe that Europeans must have the right to control how their personal information is used. Especially three technological and commercial developments have particular implications for privacy. Social networking, behavioral advertisement, RFID smart chips. First, social networking has a strong potential for a new form of communication and for bringing people together, no matter where they are. But is every social networker really aware that technically all pictures and information uploaded on social networking profiles can be accessed and used by anyone on the web? Do we not cross the border of the acceptable when, for example, the pictures of the Winnenden school shooting victims in Germany are used by commercial publications just to increase sales? Privacy must, in my view, be a high priority for social networking providers and for their users. I firmly believe that at least the profiles of minors must be private by default and unavailable to Internet search engines. The European Commission has already called on social networking sites to deal with minors' profiles carefully by means of self-regulation. I am ready to follow this up with new rules, if I have to, but only if there is no other way. Another privacy concern repeatedly mentioned to the European Commission these days is behavioural advertisement. Systems that monitor Internet users' web browsing to better target them with advertisements. Now, European privacy rules are crystal clear. A person's information can only be used with their prior consent. And we cannot give up this principle and have all our exchanges monitored, surveyed, stored in exchange for a promise of more relevant advertisement. The Commission is closely monitoring the use of behavioural advertising to ensure respect for our privacy rights. I will not shy away from taking action where a new country falls short of this duty. The latest technology trend is smart chips, also called RFID, that can send radio signals like your electronic bus pass, for example. While they can make businesses more efficient and better organized, I am convinced they will only be welcomed in Europe if they are used by the consumers and not on the consumers. No European should carry a chip in one of their possessions without being informed precisely what they are used for, with a choice to remove, to switch it off at any time. The Internet of Things will only work if it is accepted by the people. The European Commission takes the protection of your personal information very seriously. We all have a fundamental right to privacy, also when using new technologies. We are currently reinforcing European privacy laws with the reform of the EU's telecom rules on which the European Parliament is about to vote. And we will come back with new initiatives when they are needed to ensure your control 
over your personal data, in particular in cooperation with third countries where your personal data may be affected. I finally believe that it is imperative for the next Commission, which will come into office by the end of this year, to review Europe's general rules on protecting personal information, which date back to 1995. Such a reform is long overdue in view of the rapid technological development. Thanks for watching.